Let's try to create the terrain in SketchUp. Open a file, geolocation, and search for a place where your site is. Say Baguio. Then select the region. If this is the site you want, press import. Now it takes a while. And when the site is imported, you can see it's flat. Now here you can choose to use the freehand tool. Freehand. Draw. Nice freehand. And just, you know, trace over it to do the contour lines. However, if you don't have enough data on the contour lines, we have on the layers, location terrain. So the location terrain is actually the slope of the site. The problem is, if I try to use freehand here, it does not always stick to the surface. So what's another method? My method, personally, I tried to experiment this out, is to make uh, little surfaces. I make a copy of this surface at every, let's say, 2 meters. So I press 2, and then I multiply it 10 times. So 10x, enter, 15x, enter, 20x, enter, 30x, enter. So for every 2 meters, I have a plane that intersects through that terrain. So what I try to do, since they are grouped, I want to get the intersection and save it. So how do I do that? I select everything, right click and intersect with selection. And when I try to hide the surfaces one by one, you can see that they intersected with the surface. So I can try to hide all of this. And there I have my contour map. Now to polish it, you can just use the arc if you do not want jagged lines and you can assume this is how I get my contour. So if I try to hide this, I have my contour lines, I can group them once I group them so that I can have a copy later. This one, I can use the sandbox. So right clicks, look for sandbox, there. This is the sandbox plugin, extension that comes with SketchUp. You just need this, from contours. So select all of the contours first, and click from contours. Then it generated your contour map. Yep. But I advise that you make the development for Eventually, you'll be cutting some and filling some soil or earth or roads. That's it.